Jai Shri Ram, Hari Om and humble salutations. Greetings of light and love from ACBC2 and Sunday Sadhana on this auspicious Deepavali day. Today on your Ultimate Hindu Magazine show, we celebrate the festival of light with a burst of colour and vibrancy at the Durban Diwali festival. And we continue to move from darkness to light with a blissful experience at the Sivananda Ganga Conference in La Mercy. Diwali is one of the most celebrated Hindu festivals and is deeply engraved in Hindu culture and tradition. Every year, this special day serves as a reminder to Hindus of the triumph of good over evil and inspires us to cultivate good thoughts, words and deeds. The celebration of Diwali in South Africa transcends religious, racial and class boundaries and embraces a greater spirit of oneness. Such was the vibe at this year's Durban Diwali festival and Sunday Sadhana was there to share in the festivities. The Hindu Dharma, Dharmic calendar is it's amazing, uh, but it is practical. There is some or other festivity, a religious festivity, every month of the year. And what that means is that our seers, our rishis, who organize our calendar, who organize our religion, were able to ensure that there was a continuity of participation in religious activities. So the German Diwali festival was an idea that was conceived in 1998. Uh, we, we felt that uh, Diwali was not uh, celebrated, acknowledged and enjoyed by the South African society. You know, we live in a multicultural, multi-religious, multi society and uh, South Africa is rare in that regard. Our vision has always been that we want to make Diwali a South African celebration. We want all the people of South Africa to understand, appreciate the message of Diwali, which is a very simple message, bringing light into your life, and, and to enjoy that message. More and more communities outside Durban are now also having their little Diwali festival. As a result of which, uh, the two weeks preceding Diwali throughout South Africa, wherever there is a Hindu community, there is a Diwali celebration. This year we want to encourage our youth and be bringing about Hindu unity. So that those are the things that will be prevailing through all the different floats. We start in the morning with the puja in the temple. The temple is set up on Saturday after our procession. We establish our murtis and people are most welcome to come and perform the puja and uh, we will also have bhajans in the temple. Uh, on Saturday, Sunday morning, we will start with puja in the temple, followed by the havan at 10 o'clock. So we have a temple on site and there there are discourses, priests giving lectures, people coming and participating, asking the kind of questions that are needed to be answered because they're not sure. Sunday morning is very, very special. Uh, it, was a, it was originally a morning which had commenced with four or five Hindu priests getting together and performing a yajna, a havan, and people participating in each one of them because people now enjoy the universal participation of performing a havan. When we chant Tamsoma uh, Jyoti Gamaya, we are praying to the Almighty to take us from darkness to light, from ignorance to knowledge, from, pros uh, from poverty to prosperity. So whoever participates in this havan, I'm sure they will be spiritually uplifted their lives will be enriched. Yeah. 
Durban Diwali festival is no longer just a Diwali celebration of Hindus. You'll find all people, all South Africans, from all the different races, from all the different religions and cultures, all participating in this event. Uh, the Saturday morning street procession is just an example of how everyone joins in. People who may not be Hindus, but they understand now the message of Diwali. And what the Durban Diwali has, festival has succeeded in doing is that it has now brought the message of Diwali to the home of every South African. Thank you for joining us. Next up, we join the Divine Life Society of South Africa for their annual Sivananda Ganga Conference. This cultural spiritual feast celebrates the illustrious life and teachings of Swami Sivananda and his deep love and reverence for Mother Ganga. Every year we celebrate Swami Shivananda's birthday and devotees of Swami Shivananda from all over the country gather at this venue, the Shivananda International Cultural Center, to mark uh, this historic event. Swami Shivananda has been our guide, our spiritual preceptor. He's, he, he's everything to us and uh, we love him to birth. We thought it would be fitting to pay tribute and honor to Swami Shivananda and Mother Ganga, and hence we held a Shivananda Ganga conference. Now we use the word conference, but it's not a conference in uh, its typical form. It's actually like an extended uh, satsang. It's uh, what we can call a spiritual feast with a whole lot of spiritual activities that caters for the needs of all ages and all temperaments. work together, it was harmony working in harmony with each other, and I think they did that beautifully. It took many, many days, many weeks maybe. The fruition of all that hard work came up today. The Shivananda gymnastics drill display was started by Swami Sahajananda, um, and uh, it, it was done for a very specific reason. It requires concentration, it requires teamwork, it requires dedication and devotion. So the devotees have to come together and rehearse, go through vigorous training uh, before they can do that final polished presentation. So in a way it's a type of yoga uh, to, uh, to help one to evolve spiritually and the end result is what we see on the day, the drill presentation. The aim of this is to energize the body, it's to energize the mind, hand-eye coordination. And you know, it's not only the development of, of your soul, but the development of your entire being uh, that, that Swamiji was aiming at, uh, at the organization through the gymnastic drill program. The point of divine life, it's uh, in order to, to make your life divine, it's not, just, uh, it's not just your spiritual life, but it's your entire life that you want to make divine. You come to this place and there's just such a serenity and uh, you can't help but just be touched. And uh, you know, just visiting the different Ganga Ranis and um, you know, uh, it has such a positive influence on, on, on your being actually and you can't help but carry that now through into your life. 
it has just been such a beautiful experience for me. It's uh, my first visit here and um, I can tell you that uh, Swami Savananda has really touched my heart and uh, I know that my life will not be the same again. As quoted in the Rig Ved, the person who is always involved in good deeds experiences incessant divine happiness. And with that, we have come to the end of another delightful episode. Stay safe and keep your light shining bright as you continue your Diwali celebrations with your loved ones. Om Shanti.